it is. Not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. <laughs> I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOP. 1-800-5800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. And in this segment of the program, <laughs> you know, you look at the calendar. My goodness. We are right on top of it. Valentine's Day. It's coming soon. Right, Dean? Yeah. <laughs> Dean J. D'Amelio. Valentine's Day, coming soon. And many of you guys are just big pussies who are going to submit. You're going to do exactly what she wants or what you think she wants. You believe that in order to continue getting laid, you're going to have to make a restaurant reservation. Or you're going to have to buy an expensive card or some kind of gift. You believe that you're going to have to write something romantic or make her dinner or buy her a bottle of champagne or, hey, what about the flowers? You believe that's going to have to happen, that you're going to have to do that. Yikes. Now, I've uh, recommended to you guys that you just duck out of sight for a while. Ramp down your appearances at her place. Ramp down the phone calls for now. Ramp down the text messaging. Don't let her see you online. Appear invisible to everybody, if that's possible, on your uh, Internet provider. And just simply, uh, you know, try to lay low until the 15th of February or beyond. And yet I know some of you yutzes out there, I know some of you are still um, making plans for Valentine's Day. And you're the ones I want to hear from. I want to hear from you boys who are making big plans for Valentine's Day. That's what I want you to do. I want you to call up, tell me what those big plans are. And the younger you are and the more in love you are, the more I want to talk to you. Oh, yes, I do. I would like to hear what you've got in mind, because Valentine's Day is right around the corner. And if you uh, haven't thought about it, I'm sure some of you are now about to start thinking about it. You're about to start panicking going into a cold sweat, feeling the pressure. And I would like to sit here and listen to you guys twist in the wind. So if you are making big plans for Valentine's Day, and I mean big plans, if your plans do something expensive or something quote-unquote special, if you're in love, and therefore you think Valentine's Day is so very important, you're the one I want to talk to right now. Tom Likes. 1 800 5800 Tom. 1 800 5800 Man, you know, you need to exterminate this broad on the line, man, because all I'm hearing is me, 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 me. Oh, we're on our phone, man. She's the kind of chick that you talk about all the time, man. It's the Tom Likas Show. The Tom Likas Show. At one 800 5 800 tom All right. Who is ignoring my advice? 
Now, making big plans for Valentine's Day. You call me right now at 1 800 5 800 Tom. 1 800 5 800 866. Rico. On the Tom Likas Show, hello. Hey, Tom, how you doing? Doing okay, Rico. Yeah, uh, I got big plans for Valentine's Day this year. Uh, I'm going to propose to my girlfriend, Nate. And you're doing this why? I don't know, Tom. I mean, I think she's the one. Eh? I'm only 24, but she's good. She's a good girl. You know, she cooks me dinner every night. Your mouth, we're on oh, the air. I'm sorry, sorry, Tom. Sorry, Tom. So she makes you dinner. You could hire a cook for less than a girlfriend. Yeah, I know, but, I mean, she's all around good girl, you know what I mean? How? Uh, no complaints, I get laid But why, why do you need, why do you need to be married to get that? What's that? Why do you need to be married to get all that? You're getting it now. Yeah, but, I don't know, uh, I, I, I guess... I got this really good situation, and now. you know what I want to do? I want to screw it up! I'm like, I screw it up. And the point is, if it's really good, why chance fate? Why not? Why not just enjoy what you have? Yeah, but she keeps talking about she wants to get married, and yeah, nah, yeah, yeah. she can talk about it all she wants. Yeah, I guess I don't know. I don't have no kids or anything. We always so. uh, here at the studio. We always talk about going to eat at Lowry's Prime Rib. We never do it. <laughs> We, but we talk about it incessantly. Yeah. You know, got to see that salad spinner. <laughs> we talk about it. Yeah. Just because we talk about it doesn't mean we drive over to La Cienega and, and make a reservation. Right, right. I don't know, Tom. I don't know. Dean talks about eating at Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles at least once a week. Now, we yeah. haven't been there in over a year, but that doesn't stop him from talking about it. She's calling on the other line right now. I'll Tom. bet she is. Yeah. Because she's scared to death I'm going to convince you to do the right thing. Probably. Is. She's probably listening right now. I'll bet she is. <laughs> and did yeah. she, she didn't even know you were going to ask her to marry uh, marry her. Did um, ask her to marry you, did she? No, I think I think she did. She's been bugging me for a while. so. And isn't that great? You're asking her to marry you because she's been bugging you for a while. Well, yeah, I mean, I love Sounds her, like but, true love yeah. to me. What's that? Sounds like true love to me. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> That's my point. You don't sound convincing to me. <laughs> no, no, she's the one. I am. I'm, I, I love her. Yeah, I love her. Uh-huh. She's been bugging me about it, and she's the one, I guess. You know, she cooks me dinner. Hey, I, I mean, I'm happy. Yeah, but if you're happy, why would signing a contract, agreeing to give her half of everything you earn, make you happier? Uh, that's a good point. I know. <laughs> Couldn't you just, like, enjoy what you have? Yeah, probably. Then when she finally gets fed up, she can move on to some other guy, and now she's going to have a little more mileage on the odometer, and you can get a new model. Yeah, I mean she's fine. I don't. I don't know if I. I mean she's fine, Tom. You telling me there aren't other fine chicks out there? No, but I mean. You tell me you don't have the game to get them. No, I got plenty of games. There we go. Them. So I mean, so why? So there's more where this came from. Right. You know, there's a 17 year old girl right now. You can't put your hands on, and you definitely should not. There's Heck a 17 year old no. right now who will be ripe and out of the oven in the next 12 months who could be yours uh, you ever think uh, about that no nah, not really I don't know I mean she, I don't know Tom. she's been good I've been out of prison for two years now that's partly because of her by the way attention advertisers you too can reach this prime demographic what's that no, never mind what did you uh, what did you do Oh, uh, I got. Uh, I was in a gang. You were in a gang. Yeah. All right. And that was the crime you committed? No, you did something else. No, I got busted for sales. What were you selling? Uh, drugs. Mm-hmm. So. And now, and now, are you straight or what? Yeah, I got an everyday, you know, good job, working hard, you know, 
checking in with my pro officer. Everything's good. <laughs> Sounds like a lovely life. And now you want to screw it up by getting married? Well, I don't know. I want to have a kid. I want to have a kid, so, you know. Yeah. Well, that's good for the kid, but is it good for you? Mm, right now, probably not. I probably can't afford it right now. Well, if you can't afford it, you shouldn't be doing it. Yeah. Now, I'm not, I'm not, not going to have any plans to have any kids soon, you know. Let, me, let, years, let, me, so. let me also guess something else here. You don't use condoms, right? Me not. Of course you don't. She's on birth control. That's what she tells you. No, I, I I pay for it, so I know. The fact that you pay for it doesn't mean she takes it. Well, yeah, you're right, but... Unless you're shoving the pills down her throat, you don't know what she's doing. Right, you're right, you're right. Right? Yeah. You could you could have a pregnancy at any time. Yeah. We thought we had one like two weeks ago, but she, she, just, she, kept, she was real sick. She was puking a lot. But we went and went and get went to the clinic and got her tested, but she came up negative. So. so you're already taking this risk. Why are you taking this risk? You're not even married. I, I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I don't know. I, I mean, I do love you always, her. Do you always do? That doesn't mean you should be having a baby. You can't afford to have a baby. You're not married. Why would you do it? You're right. You're right. I don't. I don't know. Tom. So why aren't you heading for the drugstore right now? I'm hungry. I'm going home. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Hang on a second here. Uh, Alan, what did you want to say here to Rico? Alan? All right, Dean's going to get on the phone and go look for Alan. Tony, what did you want to say to Rico? Rico, what the hell are you doing? You're 24 and you're thinking about getting married? Yeah, dog, well, I, don't, I don't know. I mean, I well, love her. She, she's a good girl, you know? You, uh, first of all, you're way too young to get married. Second of all, that's a, uh, a retarded uh, just a Valentine's Day. You don't you don't get married. You're going to end up being another statistic. Guys like you are the ones that make us look bad. Make you look bad? How do I make you look bad? No, not me. Us guys, the ones that are actually trying to move on in life and they're not not do what you're doing what are you saying i'm not trying to move on in life i mean what the, what's that i mean i got a job i'm working every day staying out of trouble with that I mean, what are you trying to say you're you're not being careful dude i mean you're, you're saying you're, you're using birth control uh, con wearing condoms what that uh, some that doesn't work all the time i'm stuttering homie say say a point homie okay first of all i'm not your homie this is I mean, just what are you doing? Open your eyes. You're too young to get married. All right. How old are you? I'm I'm 32. No, living life. Single you know, bachelor. I, I I don't need a woman uh, cooking me meals, making folding my clothes. I mean, uh, what are you lazy? Nah, she's I mean, you, 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 could do that, you could do that stuff yourself. I don't need a woman to keep me out of prison, I'll tell you that. I have a job that keeps me out of prison. I'm not saying she kept me out, but, you know, I, I, I spend a lot more time with her than with, with the wrong people and doing the wrong things. But well, how would getting married make things any better? Well, I don't know. I'm happy. Why not get married? Well, if you're happy, why change anything? If I like things the way they are, I'd even the way they are. Yeah, I guess. That's a good point. I mean. Haven't you ever heard of people getting married and then things get worse? Yeah, yeah. A lot of my, I mean, a couple of my friends, yeah. Right? Less sex. The chick uh, puffs up to 175 pounds. Yeah, yeah. I'm right? About that. Yeah. Well, guess what? This is as good as she's ever going to look. Why chance it? Right. So just so just sit back and relax and wait wait till I'm financially stable. At the very you know, least. At the very least. Don't get married one second before you have to. Right. And don't be having a baby one second before you can afford it. No, I know. I, I'm not trying to have a baby. Yeah, well, you are because you don't use condoms. Well. Wow. 
you already thought you had an emergency last week, so you know damn well that whatever birth control she says she's on could fail. Right, right. Now, why don't you uh, guarantee that you won't have a baby until you can afford it? That I will probably start doing. That I am going to start doing. And why would you get married a minute before you have to? Ooh, I don't know about that. Life is not going to get better when you get married. Take it from someone who's been married four times. Right. Okay? That you come home from being married and you say, hey, you know what? Things haven't changed. Everything's the same. Yeah. Except now if I get a divorce, I have to pay her alimony. Yeah, that sucks. Right? Why would you invite that in? I mean, I don't, I, if I get married, I don't plan on getting divorced. You know what I mean? Nobody plans on getting divorced, but 50% of the people who get married do get divorced. Yeah. Do you really think that 50% of the people who get married say, eh, if it doesn't work out, I'll get a divorce? Nah, right not. <laughs> right. All 100% of the people who get married say, I'm, this is it. I'm in it for the long haul. And then 50% of them, amazingly, are not in it for the long haul. Hey, Tom. I, I, I really don't think this guy's been listening to your show very long. No, I, I actually have been listening to you since I came to California, actually. And I, I actually, until I met her, I, I followed all, pretty much all the rules. You've been pretty much? Yeah, until until I met her, I, I, I was, you know, whatever. So he's following like, the rules. Water. Sex without a condom. He's going to propose on Valentine's Day. He's following all the rules. I know, until I met her. Then I, then I pretty much threw him out the door, but... Up until I met her, I followed her. Have you heard, that, since you're a regular listener, have you heard the callers who throw all the rules out the door? What's that? Have you heard of the callers who've called in when they threw the rules out the door? Uh, yeah, a couple of them. How's that, how, how do those callers sound when they call in? Everything goes to crap, pretty much. Right. So haven't you learned anything from that? Yeah, I mean, I, I guess I hear it, but... You know, I'd probably say, well, I, you know, that can't happen to me or whatever, but... Yeah, I know you say that, but 50% of the people who get married get divorced, and they all thought it couldn't happen to them. I just walked in right now. Oh, I'm there a, she I'm is. I'm on the Tom Likas show, Ben. <laughs> Maybe you should yeah. put her on the phone. You, you want to talk to her, Tom? Oh, what's her name? Diana. Diana. Yeah, you want to talk to her? Oh, sure, put Diana on the phone. All right, hold on. Hello. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Hi. What is he doing talking to you? <laughs> yeah, well, he called me. <laughs> what is he telling you? <laughs> well, I guess I'm not supposed to tell you. I think you should. <laughs> oh, you think I should? Yeah. I a don't... girl should know everything a man told me. Oh, this is a bad <laughs> sign right there. Look at that. <laughs> no, I actually really enjoyed hearing you all the time. I agree on some stuff, and then some stuff I'm like, you know, got to think twice also. Mm -hmm. Like what? Like, um, I mean, buying gifts for your wife and your girlfriend, is not. there's nothing bad in that. Yeah, there is, because if you're a wife, we're already paying for everything else. No. Well, we're right here also cooking for you, waiting for you to come home. Well, that's great. And we're, we're going to work and paying for everything. Exactly. But if, it, if you guys want to. So why I mean, do we owe you anything he, on top of that? He actually enjoys giving me stuff. So, I mean, it's just, you know, a matter of well, guy, you know, depending on the guy. When I was tw as I always say, when I was 12 years old, what I wanted to do was drive a fire truck. And I would have really enjoyed it. It wouldn't have been good for me or the people who, who would come in contact with me. But I I would really enjoy that. <laughs> the fact that I would really enjoy something doesn't mean it's good for me. Well, I think By the way, your 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 boyfriend, your boyfriend, off. your boyfriend I, I, I there. I think him in a really good way. It pays off. I'm well, your sorry. boyfriend, who is a con <laughs> he's a con he's a convicted felon, right? Yeah. Yeah. So your boyfriend is a convicted felon. Uh, you know, he loves selling drugs. Probably enjoyed using them too, and he thought it was he enjoyed that. Well, so I'm should he do that? As well as should he know? do that? 
I'm not so innocent myself, so we can't understand. When, when people enjoy things, does that mean that those things are good for them and that they should do them? Yeah, why not? I so mean, if he feels like going back to selling drugs because he would enjoy doing it or he'd like the money he made, you wouldn't have a problem with that? I, well, I don't think he enjoyed it. I think it was the point of... Did he do drugs? He used to do, yes. Yes. Do you think he enjoyed it? I think he did. I mean, yeah, so what if he wanted to do drugs again? Would you have a problem with that? He enjoys it. Enjoy. We had our little phase. We enjoyed our thing. It's just an aspect like you like it in a limit, and then you just want to stop. So it's a decision you make, and then okay, you have your fun, and then but you do enjoy it at the moment. And it's the, I mean, it's probably not the best thing for you, but right. It's not. So uh, that same thing with uh, being a boyfriend or buying you gifts. Yeah, it may feel good at the time, but maybe it's not the right thing to do. I mean. I mean, I would understand when you say, as in, you know, like expensive gifts. I wouldn't even, I would slap at myself if he bought me like a freaking Mercedes Benz, which, you know, like, it's not worth it. I, I'm, I'm like, well, to me, I'm the common. If he bought you a Mercedes Benz, I'd be wondering what house he broke into to buy it. I uh, know, that's the thing. <laughs> so you think that too, right? Yeah, then I think he went back to selling drugs. <laughs> that's right. You know? <laughs> so if but, that yeah. car is out there with the big bow on it? Yeah. I mean, I'm, it's it's a gift, but I would rather return it and, I mean, would rather use that money for something else. I mean, that's the type of girl I am. I wouldn't, if you bought me, I mean, he wants to propose to me soon, so. I oh, mean, did he? Oh, see, he told you that. Yeah, that's what he, that's what I'm feeling that it's coming so i mean the decision now it's on me because i mean he's for sure that he wants to do it so i mean that's the thing so you I haven't love. decided if you want to marry that i do love him i do actually love him and i actually see myself being with him you know but right now you know i just i do have to think about stuff and i i mean it's just a matter of yeah thinking so you're not even sure you would accept if he asked you I would say yes. I actually would say yes. Well, what do you have to think about then? Because I just, there's some things that also, as in the aspect of the drugs and the selling and the stuff like that, I don't want him to fall back into that, you know? And I just want to make sure of that, you know, just... How could you ever be sure of that? Well, I what happens after he gets married to you and he's got to buy you gifts all the time and he's got to, you'll probably stop using birth control three seconds after he proposes, if you haven't stopped already, and then you'll be cranking out little baby uh, felons and then uh, he's going to have to feed them and house all of them. And and uh, maybe that he won't be able to afford that. Maybe he has to go uh, back to the old uh, to the old playground or wherever he meets his old friends and uh, get back into the business. Well, sometimes you have to go back to that. <laughs> I'm just saying. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying. Well, look, Tom, it was nice talking to you. I got to feed him. He could probably buy me something else. So. <laughs> you got to feed him so he'll buy you something else. I, <laughs> sounds like true love over there, darling. Yeah, no, no. But it's good talking to you. And sure I'm going to love your show. You're doing a great job. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. I hope you bring you topics this year. Well, I'm, I'm, glad that, I'm glad that big surprise is coming where he's going to propose to you and you know he's going to do it. I know. <laughs> All right. Sounds so very romantic. That sounds, Hello? Yeah, I, 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 I'm here, but I'm going. Goodbye. Thank you. He's going to propose to me soon, and then I have to think about it. What kind of proposal is that if you already know it's coming? Please. You know, maybe you uh, mail that into Coast or something, you know, and you have the disc jockey read it on the radio. <laughs> Diana, will you marry me? Will you please play Lionel Richie singing Endless Love? <laughs> One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom is our telephone number. If you are making plans for Thanksgiving, I'm sorry for uh, Valentine's Day. If you're making plans for Thanksgiving—that's a whole other story. If you're making plans for Valentine's Day, do let me know.
Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. No, Tom. Man, you like a dope cat on the radio. <laughs> you, you get a hood pass from me, so anybody will come to the hood. I got your back, bro. I love that. <laughs> it's the Tom Likas Show. Tom Likas Show. At 1-800-5800-TOM. Thank you for tuning in. All right, who's doing something for Valentine's Day? Step up and face me. 1-800-5800-866. Josh on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello. Yes. Hey, my name is Josh. Um, basically, I've been with my girlfriend for about five and a half months. She's real pretty. I like her a lot. Um, but the problem is she hasn't – I haven't gotten laid yet. And so I figured out – I made a reservation over at a real nice restaurant uh, on February 14th, 8 o'clock, to take her out, bought her a nice piece of jewelry. And if after that I don't get anything, I was going to figure it out pretty uh, – Why would you wait until – After that, why? if you have to buy somebody all that stuff, why not just hire a hooker? Well – I like her a lot, you know. As I've been with her five and a half months. I'm really starting to like her. And I figured maybe she's some type of girl with a girl that wants to wait. She's only had sex with one guy before, so I figured I'd give her that respect and let her wait for it. And I don't know. What What makes you think that would happen? Is showing women respect is the surest way to get stepped on? Is it? Of course. Probably right. I just, I don't know. I just figured I'd give her one last chance, and if I couldn't get it from there. Yeah, but if you haven't gotten it by now, she's telling you, I'm not attracted to you. Well, she does other stuff. She just won't have sex. She's she's 21 years old. She's only had sex with one person. Yeah, but not, but that person is not you. Correct. So why'd she have sex with someone else, but not you? She said it was a mistake. Why was it a mistake? Uh, I don't know. She said she was, I don't know why, but I, didn't, I haven't asked any questions about that. But yeah. You don't ask any questions, so you're not even capable of having a conversation about this. No, she, I don't ask any, many questions about what what she did previously. So, so she, guy. well, uh, you told me she only had one guy, which I don't even believe myself. Well, you could be right. You could be right, but I trust I trust her. I mean, why do you, you why, right. why do you trust her? Because uh, from what I've known, she's never lied to me before. But, you know? but from what I've known is the key phrase there. Correct. Yeah, at some point, you have to have trust in people. So, uh, yeah, but but the point is, by having trust in so, why why do you have to put all your eggs in one basket? Why can't you be working five or six or seven chicks at one time? That would be nice. I mean, so you have no you game. Know, yeah, I've you have no game. What's that? You have no game, correct? No, I do. I do. Well, if I you do. do, why do you need to put all your eggs in one basket? Um, you're probably right. Yeah. So tell me, why? Because I like this girl a lot. Mm. Yeah, but then wait, why can't you be dating other women just in case this doesn't work out? Mm. I'm, I don't know. I don't have that much time. Yeah. You're right. You're right. I could be. You got no game, why. right? What's that? You've got no game, correct? I do. I, I've attracted very good-looking girls in the past. Then, then why do you want to, to, to only work one? Why? You're right. You're right. So tell me why. I don't have a good reason why. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's pretty lame. Yeah. You're right. Hmm. Ever since I've been with her, I've been seeing a lot of... I've been seeing a lot more girls, too, a lot more attractive girls. I've kind of wanted to, I don't know, try out some other stuff, you know? Well, why don't you try out uh, some other stuff? I think I might now. <laughs> now I realize how stupid my points are. Yeah, you should think this stuff through. Yeah. I really should. <laughs> Start thinking. I will. Thank you, Tom. <laughs> Thank you. Take me out, Kobe Style. Here you go, baby. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. It's one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Eric on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, how's it going, Tom? I'm okay. 
Hi. I, I, a quick question for you. I've listened to you for a couple of years. I like what you're saying. You're a pretty funny guy. Uh, I have to admit. <laughs> um, I heard you mention a couple of times that marriage is for the poor and the stupid. Correct. How is it that like the top 5% wealthiest families in America or most societies are almost always married? Well, they're not almost always married. There are many married rich people. Uh, there are also many people in divorce court fighting over millions of dollars in property. Well, that's true. But, I mean, like the wealthiest, the top like 5% wealthiest people are almost... Not... Like, what's all... Like, no, no. Well, how do you define almost always? 99%? Yeah, sure. 99%. It's not ninety nine. But that's not even true. It's not. It's not true. That is not true. Okay. Well, you have like all the. Okay, you have the Bush family, Kennedys, uh, Trump family. I mean, you can go on and on with all the different families, like names that you can recognize that are all that are all married. I hardly ever hear of single people with that level of recognition and uh, wealth ever. What do you mean? I mean, well, could you give me some examples of, like, single people that are that have that same level of recognition? Uh, what do you mean you by know, so, like, I don't know what you mean by that. Like, okay, Bill Gates. You would uh, obviously assume that, you know, you, you tie that with wealthy and, you know, rich, and he's married. Um, but he's one person. Exactly. But, I mean, I can't think of, like, any individual people that are that commonly associated with wealth that are single. Really? Yeah. You can't think of any. I can't. Can you? Uh, are people who are not married? How about Gene Simmons? Okay. <laughs> okay, that's that's fair. <laughs> right? That, that, that's, that's fair. Unmarried. <laughs> He's been here in the studio. He's called in. That's okay. Yeah, but, I mean, you can match up, like, people that are single to married families. I mean, uh, but you're going to come out with more people that are married than the list that you have for just single people. But the fact that people are doing something doesn't make it right or doesn't mean it's good for them. Well, maybe it's not good for them, but uh, it just seems that it's such a – it's so common with uh, wealthy people. But they know, the fact is – the fact that they get married doesn't mean that they stay married. Look at Kirk Krikorian. Do you know who that is? No, uh, the name's not familiar. Kirk Krikorian owns uh, the, the company that owns MGM Grand Hotel. Ah, uh, there you go. All right. He's also owned MGM, the movie studio, from time to time. This is a guy, I think he's in his 80s. He was married yeah. to somebody much younger. And uh, later on, uh, the, the, you know, the, the woman he married had, uh, got pregnant, and it, it turned out the uh, baby wasn't his. <laughs> well, that's tragic. Well, he got, he got divorced. All right. Well, um, do you think that possibly for, like, the people that have that level of recognition, like the Bush family maybe or the Kennedys or Rockefellers, you know, to name a few, um, do you think that they, they do it because, I mean, they're more political figures, I guess? Well, I certainly think politicians frequently have marriages of convenience. No, I, I, yeah, that doesn't make sense. Do you think that they're uh, seeing people on the side? <laughs> I think that there's a lot of people seeing people on the side. Look at that Newt Gingrich. That worm. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> That's really funny. Thank you, Tom. <laughs> Laugh it up. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. This is Brandon on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing, man? I'm doing okay. Man, I just started listening to you yesterday, man. So you got to understand with me, man. I don't know what they've been teaching me out here, man, but you speak the truth, man. Everything you've been talking about on the, on the station, man, it's been the truth. Well, uh, that's the thing. You must be kind of shocked to hear somebody actually saying this stuff. Man, shocked and, man, I'm, it, it feels good to see it. It's, it's coming out from the real, man. So uh, I'm liking the show, man. I'm listening to it as much as I can while I'm at work. I'm thrilled that you are so uh, into it. And uh, what is the most important thing that you've learned here so far? That I ain't got to take no girl out to dinner to get some. That's right. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm liking uh, the girl Angela, man. I mean, I'm right up the street from McDonald's, man. So I, I always want to just take a girl up to get a McChicken sandwich and then get active right after we get done, you know. I don't even want to eat with them. Here's one of the old tricks, Brandon, that I tell the boys on this show. Uh, you uh, you call her over the phone. You say, "What time are you have a dinner tonight?" And she'll tell you. Time? She'll tell you. Oh, seven thirty. And you say, uh, "Great, so you ought to be done about nine. Why don't we hook up and have a drink?" Okay. 
Then you don't even have to get the chicken sandwich. <laughs> exactly. Let some other guy who's trying to hit it with that uh, get get exactly. her the chicken Let sandwich. Let some other dude take her and spend a couple hundred dollars on her dinner and all that. Man, I'm I'm straight, man. Yeah. Either, either McDonald's or a Hot Pocket. <laughs> hot, a Hot Pocket and a Pop-Tart for dessert. Exactly. You can put one in each toaster slot. And if you're good, you might get a Capri Sun. <laughs> <laughs> How about a Sunny D? Come on. Oh, yeah, you, you're giving them too much right now. <laughs> Couple of Sun Chips with that. Exactly. <laughs> Exactly, man. I just said I love the show, man, so keep doing what you're doing, man. All right, Brandon. All right. Thank you for the call. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing for Thanksgiving? John on the Tom like his show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Uh, Valentine's I keep saying Thanksgiving. Hello, John. Hello, Tom. Hello, John. Hey, I've been a long time listener. I love what you do. I've tried to follow all the rules, but I got a question for you. Yes. So we're coming up on Valentine's Day. Right. I'm dating a girl. I've been dating her for about a year and a half. But last year, I went to a sales meeting over Valentine's Day, so it was a non-issue. This year, my, my sales meeting, I just had it last week. So that excuse is done. But I, I hate Valentine's Day, so I figured you could give me some tips on how to get out of it this year. Do you uh, have a job that uh, has you traveling or has you work late or anything like that? Uh, definitely. I uh, I travel all around Texas. Well, time to uh, plan that trip to Lubbock. Hey, well, you know what? When I was talking to the call screener, that thought had just hit me. That's something I might have to try. Yes. But man, hey, but why? By the way, why go to Lubbock? You can spend the night in Austin and uh, meet up some other with some other hot chicks who will be out on Valentine's Day, all sad that they didn't get asked out for dinner. Well, hey, I might have to uh, spring up, you know, some regional manager's meeting in Vegas or something. But in Vegas, even better. That's right. Now I'll just have to explain why I'm traveling so much early in the year, but I think I can handle that. Oh, you can handle that. Heck yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, it, w what you do, so it doesn't look suspicious, you're going to be gone the 12th, the 13th, 12th, 13th, 14th, and 15th. That's right. Well, well, the problem is I've always followed the rules. I've never had a girlfriend long enough through Valentine's Day. Right now, for some reason, I've decided to keep one long enough to have to deal with it. And now, I, I know I'm scrambling. So that idea, I think that idea will work. Got to make yourself scarce. Absolutely. I have the perfect job. Are you kidding? Oh, are you, oh yeah, we're going to be in Seattle. we got a big broadcast coming up. Uh, a lot of business to talk about. Hell, yeah. Got to meet oh. with the station. Yeah. Heck, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Tom. If you, uh, if you don't mind, take me out old school. All right, John, here you go. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Kevin on the Tom like his show. Hello. Hey, what's up, Tom? Not much, Kevin. Hey, not much. Hey, man, my barber got me hooked on you, man. I've been listening to you about two months now, regular Monday through Thursday. You know, and I don't go in my house. You know, I used to be with my girl, man. We just separated, so you know, I don't even go to her no more. I got my own place. But I just wanted to say something about old oh, boy that called in. You know, talking about he ready to get married to his girl. It's like, if she got to think about it, you know what I'm saying? She already know you ready to marry her and you're going to propose to her. And she's talking about she still got to think about it. Then why would you want to marry her? I mean. Right. <laughs> I'm like, come on, man. Like, I thought I was ready to get married and everything. Then I. You make a very I, good I, point. You are then off the hook. Well, man, I thought about it, but then I realized I was pussy whoop. <laughs> 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 I'd love the, if we could say that on the radio, but unfortunately, we can't. Our email address is my name. It's Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. Have you got that? Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. The Tom Likas Show.